Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24th to September 30th 2018 So while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you guys that uh, this is a general reading for Taurus Star Sign This is not your personal reading, therefore I will explain you the um, meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread that I have chose which is a four card spread for Tarot and uh, but it falls to you to make a sense of them. Now if you want a uh, pool for pool of cards you know uh, for a uh, questions that you do have this is a subject of a, a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're gonna find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings and at the at end as it is the end of the summer there is a, a summer end sale which is going on and uh, basically this sale adds Thir uh, 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minutes service for the total of 40 minutes. So that being said, cutting up the cards and uh, placing them down into a, a four card position spread. Now the first position regards to the topic of your Taurus's week. The second card resembles to the core of the situation, what, why the topic is uh, happening. Then we do have the third card which is the challenges that you need to overcome here and the final one it is about the guidance that you should follow. Now let's see what we got. Um, the first one that will be the Tree of Cups which is the topic. Very positive card. It does look like that you are going to kind of finally see that your efforts in the recent past are bearing results. This is in the grand scheme of things either into your career or either into your relationship. Now let's say that you have worked upon something in the recent past here and you really kind of like dedicate yourself into it. You have put the toes behind it and now in this week you are going to see where the fruit are starting to uh, kind of uh, flourish. So it does look like that your current efforts were not and are not in vain. But this card also has a more profound meaning. It does point that if you, or should you involve yourself into a, a mutual experience with other people like co-workers, friends or you aim to uh, have more contribution into a, a common experience with your partner like a husband, wife, you know, or just a lover then it does look like that you will kind of like expand your vision in a sense of that you will I don't want to say guys that you have a, a vague sense of life but it is very likely that most of you are going to find even deeper meaning to kind of lead, lead them their life in a certain way and at the very least this card points that at that particular week you will be able to kind of express yourself emotionally so whatever hatred or whatever uh, joy and happiness you had within you, incapable to kind of lay it all out, you know, and to share it with other people, you will be able to do so in this particular week, September 24th to September 30th, 2018. But it is very important, as I said, to acknowledge that um, whatever ha you have started in the previous couple of weeks or in the previous week now is going to start uh, giving uh, certain results not the ultimate results but a certain very initial results which will be a sign that you are on the right track and the core of the situation to it is that you do have the king of pentacles which points that you have laid a, a very or you have made a, a very well found foundation, very good foundation before you actually make the initiation. Now this card is reassurance here, nothing else but reassurance that pushing on forward with whatever undertaking you are after or you are executing right now which um, which results are start uh, showing up here, it is, uh, it is very secure and it is secure to a, um, to a sense because um, you have, uh, uh, let me systemize my sentence here, you had done everything peripheral before that. 
so you did not jump into it very irrationally in the sense that you have left any predicaments unresolved before that so they can um, they can reimmerse right now and kind of ruin the experience of collecting the fruits of your labor just on the contrary you know you have uh, you have reached a um, a closure to anything that could actually compromise uh, your current undertaking whatever that undertaking is just to give you an example here let's say it's about a relationship and let's say that you um, kind of has the, ha, have an interaction with a certain person of interest that you want to be in a relationship with and this week you do uh, have you know you do have the opportunity to do so the very initial state of the fruits of your labor here but your ex in the past kind of involved themselves into that situation ruining the good timing between you and your person of interest and this card here points that you completely settle down the things with your ex so therefore your ex is no longer a factor in this particular um interacting in between you and your person of interest it's it's a little bit complicated you know but let's say that you have extinguished any room for unpredictable predicaments that may arise for the duration you know of you pushing forward toward that undertaking either career-wise or relationship wise and then we do have the challenges that you need to overcome here now we do have the six of swords so that cut points that uh going in uh, going forward in a, and walking on the trivial way on the trivial path uh with the hope that you, we will um, eventually you know finalize our undertaking it may happen but it may not happen now this card here points that it is time for us to make a little bit more braver steps moving on forward especially steps which point which kind of throws us outside of our comfort zone because uh, this card points that we are or you Tauruses are sitting on a certain threshold uh, and that threshold is uh, it's so it's kind of like petrifying you in a certain way because you may feel hesitant or you are hesitant you know to make a step forward because you may think that there is a, a lot to lose if you make the wrong step now if you think soberly about it there in reality there is nothing to be lost from it and uh, if we apply here the example you know as i said you will have the chance to make a relationship with that person after you settle down the uh the misunderstanding with your ex but having a chance in being it's not the same thing is it what you need to do is little is be with this card is be a little bit more bolder and that will be the challenge to be a little bit more bolder you know to take a certain risk to ask them do you like me you know do, or you know do you have feelings for me or do you want to go out on a date or you know do you want to travel with me etc etc it's kind of like you know you have to be a little bit more brave when you take actions or kind of you need to take a, a little bit more braver actions and one more thing is how this card could manifest here as a, a challenge is that you may find it challenging you know to kind of close arguments but these arguments does not involve you directly these arguments involve a, a couple of people or two groups of people which you kind of care for you know and you don't want them to argue most likely because if they unite it will be much more beneficial for the end goal but right now they are arguing for example you know I, a two party is arguing how a, a certain project needs to be attended you know into your career and no one is winning from that argument here it, it kind of traverse into a wrangle rather than rather than an, a, an argument and you may find it very difficult to unite those people and to set a closure upon that argument and the last card it is the um, guidance the tarot offers for you now this is the eight of pentacles this card here as a guidance points that um, how can I place it it is time for you to um, to execute a certain plan all right and 
probably this plan is the challenging thing. Maybe you think that that plan that you do have or this yearning that you do have, because plans and yearnings are not really a different thing, is it? Are they? Unless they are not, unless the plans are not very sophisticated here. So what the Eight of Pentacles here points that it is time for you to start working for it even harder. Now, if you have established the foundation, it is time for you to start building here with the Eight of Pentacles. And in order to do so, first of all, you have to recognize at what field of your life, you know, or where does your strengths lie? For example, if you are terrible in creating a romantic environment, maybe you should leave the person of interest to create the, the romantic environment. If you are terrible, you know, of expressing your emotions, maybe you should allow them to express your um, to express their emotions first and to make it a prerequisite for you to express your emotions. What, what is the point here with the Eight of Pentacles is that you need to recognize where your strengths lies and to utilize them correctly and to capitalize on them and where your weaknesses lies is for you to kind of strain from that particular field so don't try to push yourself toward them and in the same time as we do have the six of swords maybe it's time for you to even try to expand you know the uh, the level of the comfort zone by stepping outside of it and with that particular sense of, with that particular meaning it does um, gives a um, prerequisite from you to be a little bit more bolder you know with um, with the strengths that you do have so if a strength of yours is being romantic well then maybe you need to define to, to define you know a, a new level of romance that you did not explore until this very moment so that being said going to uh, the Lenormand reading now the Lenormand reading is going to show a, a event happening and you Tauruses should either look forward to or try to avoid All right, so the first card is the ship. So the ship sits for a couple of things. It could stand for um, traveling. It could stand for um, taking risks. And what we said here, it's about taking risks, all right? Then we do have a the lady. So this is a, a woman, or this could be interpreted as a risky woman or a woman from afar. And then we do have a, the a mountain, which calls delays, which calls predicaments. It sits for delays, predicaments, or finding a, a different path to a the same destination. So uh, this particular combination could be interpreted in many ways. Now this could be a, a lady from afar, from a distant land, you know, maybe abroad is causing you difficulties and predicaments or it could be a, a risky lady, you know, or a bold lady causing you a, a certain predicament or causing predicaments in general or it could be through a risk of this woman here or a risk taken from that woman it is found a another way, you know, to accomplish a, a certain goal. So be on a watch out for either of those events. If it is the last one, it does look like that it's going to benefit you greatly. If it is the previous couple, you know, a woman from afar, you know, that's... Um, is causing you difficulties or a woman which is quite inconsistent with her behavior and performance is causing difficulties most likely into your career you know then uh, maybe it's uh, it's good for you to strain from this particular person you don't want to jeopardize the good foundation and the good investments you have uh, made to chase that undertaking which is bearing results right now in this week so that being said uh, Tauruses this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24th to September 30th 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this is a, a general reading for Taurus's sign so uh, 
here I'm explaining the meanings of the cards, their synergy, but it is up to you to make sense of them. Uh, if you want me to be the one who makes the sense of the cards, put on specific questions of yours, then uh, this is a matter of a personal reading and for personal readings you can go to my website which is listed down below in the description of this video or make an inquiry on my email which can be found again on, down below in the description of this video and uh, we're going to schedule an appropriate time for both of us for your reading. So, uh, rat signing up now. See you next time. Bye.